Hi everybody, welcome to this Photoshop tutorial. This is part 3 of the basic compositing. And in this one we're going to look at adding some details to this background here. It's pretty bland and it needs a little bit more detail to liven things up and make it a bit more believable. So the first thing we're going to do is add a new layer. I'm going to change the blending mode of this to screen. Then we're going to go filter, render, clouds. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this down to around about 20%. Control T to transform. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit here. Um, when you're using the cloud function to render it's a little bit too much, it's a bit too tight. So I'm just going to move that up and I'm looking at this area down here mainly till it's somewhere a little bit more pleasing and that will do now if we zoom back in now we don't want this effect so strong we certainly don't want it anywhere so we're going to add a layer mask click on the layer mask and I'm going to pick our graduation tool I'm going to make sure it's on a normal linear and we're going to go black to white I'm going to start here because I want it to fill in black pretty much all the way at the top there. I'm going to start there, drag down. I just flick that on and off. So we've got this element of fog there now. Um, what I will do, I'm just going to disable that link between the mask. Go back to this, render layer. I'm just going to move it about a little bit just to see if there's. That should be good. Now I'm going to click in the middle to relink the mask again. I'm going to get a brush tool, four crown gold to black, click back on the mask. I'm just going to get a soft brush. I'm just going to take that effect file model at the front. If I turn that on enough, I see it's just added a little something extra, and because of what was I was conscious of doing was trying to get the fog positioned more within the front of the light so it looks a bit more believable these areas would be more obviously illuminated from the lights from the headlights so that'll do for that I'm going to create another new layer just normal blending mode on this if you're a Beck member you would have had access to the download files for this anyway and amongst those files for part 3 are brush presets they're also available as a package on the download page. Um, there's hundreds of brush presets that can be downloaded. If you're not a Beck member, you can download brush presets from the internet, or it's quite easy to make your own. Um, I have actually done a video on making your own presets, so if you're unsure of how to make them, look at other videos and find the one for making brush presets for birds and copyright. Um, so anyway, I'm going to look for some brushes and the first one I want to look for are some tree brushes um, I'm going to pick that one first, foreground colour to black I'm going to take these down quite small I'm going to put that one there that one there and we'll just get one more 
Um, let me see. And that'll do for our trees. Now we could do with something just to break up in between. Um, this is actually a group of trees, but I'm going to take this right down. It might take you a little bit of experiment to get this perfectly right, but I just want to get the tips of it so it kind of looks like scrub or you know bushweed and that kind of stuff. And we'll get one more. that one. And this is kind of looks like corn. I don't want too much of this showing, I'm just gonna that's a bit much. I'll just drop that down a bit more. And that'll do us. So now, if we just flick that on and off, all of a sudden we've broke this area up and we've got a little bit of detail there rather than it being too bland. We'll just rename that to trees. Rename that to fog. And we're going to create another new layer. And I want to do something over this side. Um, something that's kind of got a little bit of impact. Uh, so what we're going to do is going to change our foreground colour to white I'm going to pick another brush preset I'm going to pick this one which is a lightning bolt I'm going to increase the size pretty high on this I want it just I'm just looking at the left hand focus I want it so it's just coming into contact with the land so I'm going to put that there I'm going to have to put a mask on this. Scroll in so I can see, and I just want to take that effect where it's spilling over onto our model at the front. Drop the opacity slightly. Now, the lightning looks great, but there isn't much light up here where this big crack is at the top. We could do with some extra light, you know, give it a little bit of realism as if the sky is lighting up because of it. So, I'm going to create another layer. I'm going to change the blending mode to hard light. I'm going to use yet another brush preset. Um, I'm going to use one I use quite regularly. I use this as a it's like a nebula brush for want of a better word. Um, that's the one. I'm going to reduce the size down somewhat. about there I'll do. I'm going to take the opacity to this all the way down to about 20%. If I just turn that on and off it makes it look like it's a, because it's such a low opacity it looks like it's a cloud that's been illuminated from the lightning rather than anything too spacey. Um, again our lightning kind of looks in keeping. I've just had another little detail we could put in just to add to the realism of it is we can put a reflection of this lightning. So we're going to go back to our lightning preset. It's going to be quite small. Now I'm going to position this roughly in the corner of the window of the car, like so. Let's go zoom in here so we can see what we're doing. I'm going to click on that layer, click on the move tool. I'm going to use the up and down arrows just to get to exactly where I want it, which is about there. Your 
capacity on this. I take right down. I don't want it blatantly obvious, just as a small detail. So if I just take that on and off, you can see how it just adds a little bit of realism to it. You know, there's you're thinking more along the lines of the dynamics, what one insertion would affect in reality. If we put something in here, do we need to show it somewhere else? Do we need to put a reflection or a shadow to these things? Um, and the last thing I'm going to do, create another new layer. And this is another brush preset. So if you haven't got these presets, I am sorry. But like I say, watch the go back and watch the video regards making presets. You can make these very, very quickly. Um, the vast majority of mine I've just made over the last year or so as I've started getting into compositing a little bit more. And the one I'm looking for is City Skyline. And I think that's a, a reasonable size. I could probably do with moving that down a little bit. So I'm just going to click on the layer, get the move tool. Just drop it down ever so slightly and across that way slightly. Now again we're going to need to mask this. So we're going to paint with black. With a soft brush. The areas we don't want it to be. lightning layer which is that one let's click on the mask there I'm just going to take that effect from there I'm just going to lessen it a little bit around there so it's going behind the building and if we scroll back out so if we just we quickly run through that this is where we ended up uh, the second part of the tutorial. We've added our fog to the foreground, our trees to the horizon, and a few little bits of scrub and grass. And we put in our lightning bolt, our illuminated cloud around the top of the lightning. And we then put the reflection of the lightning. I just turn that on and off on the front of the car. We've added a cityscape to the right hand side. So just a quick run through. This was our original start image. Basic compositing part one took us to here. Part two we looked at adding rain and exploring the blend if to get more realistic light and sh shade within the rain. And in part three we've added background details, lightning and light effects and of course our fog to the foreground. There will be a part 4 to basic compositing. I have no idea what's going to be in it at the moment, but there will be a part 4. As I say, if you're a Beck member, all the brush presets, all the images are downloadable with the video on the website. If you're not a Beck member, but you would like access to all the files and the presets that we've used during the course of these compositions, you can contact me via the website. So that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Till the next time. Bye.